So solve the system using the elimination method. We are trying to eliminate one of the variables. In order to do that, you have to make either x or y look the same. So here I have 5 and 3 for x's, and here I have 3 and 2. You can either multiply this equation by 5 to make it 15x, here multiply by 3 to 15x, or make y 6y. I think it's make easier to make the y 6y, meaning you're going to multiply this whole thing by what? 2, and this whole thing by 3. So then I get double all three terms, right? Not just y. So it's 10x minus 6y equals to 42. I double all these three. Now I triple all these three terms, so I get 9x plus 6y equals to 15. Again, the reason why I multiply by 2 and 3 here was to make 6y for both equations. Now, how can you eliminate negative 6y and 6y? Do you need to add it or subtract? Just add it, right? Why? Negative 6y plus 6y become 0. Eliminate, right? You're trying to get rid of one of the variables. That's the elimination method. So 10x plus 9y, 9x is 19x, which equals to now add it again, 657. So now you divide by 19 and 19, so you get x equals 2, 3. Are we done? When you're solving for the system of equations, you're solving for both variables. And you're, you're going to write your answer in a coordinate form at the end, right? So this is 3, comma, y is your solution. So how do I solve for y now? Plug x into any of the equations. If I were you, I'll plug into the, not these, but one of the simple, simplest form. So probably this one. Doesn't it look smaller? The coefficient looks smaller than the other ones. So it's 3 times 3. x is 3. So 3 times x plus 2y equals to 5. Now I'm solving for y. So it's 9 plus 2y equals to 5. So minus 9 from both sides, so I get 2y equals to negative 4. So when you divide by 2, y equals to negative 2. So this is your solution, x comma y.